This is a glorious video where it's not autonomous driving, it's human-human interaction, and it goes very wrong. So here we have a truck driver going along the highway at some constant velocity, and then we have the second car that puts its blinker on and tries to merge in as well, but the truck driver just keeps going, right? So, so this truck driver is basically saying, it's your job to stay out of my way. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, right? You get out of my way. And two, two things are interesting about this. The first thing that's interesting is that an autonomous car today would never do this, would never do what this, what this second car, this black car is doing. Because an autonomous car today would try to predict what the truck driver is, is going to do. It's pretty easy to predict, they're just gonna keep going. And plan to stay out of its way. So if there's not a big enough gap in traffic, then you don't merge. Um, but the, kind of the second interesting thing is that while autonomous cars would not do this at all today unless there's some sort of perception failure, I do this all the time. <laughs> so, I mean, I live in San Francisco. I have to commute to Berkeley. I have to drive on the Bay Bridge every single day there and back. And if I didn't, if I waited for a big enough gap in traffic every single time I needed to actually switch a lane, take an exit or something like that, I wouldn't get to work on time. Right? And going back to the truck example, I mean, how many of us here would actually behave the way the truck driver behaved? I mean, maybe some, but probably most of us would actually slow down in reaction to what that car did and let it merge in. So if most of us would not act that way, then it seems a little silly that we're tell essentially telling all autonomous cars to treat us as if we're all going to act like this truck driver. And this might sound a little strange, but if you think about it, when we say, look, the person is an obstacle that's moving, your job is to predict what, how it's going to move next and get out of its way, we're basically treating every single person as if they're going to act the way the truck driver acted, not reacting to the robot at all. 